Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Cindy Williams, a talk show host and a gospel artist. Please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any new video that I'm going to upload. Do like, share and comment. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss all the beautiful, beautiful videos I'm going to be uploading and the ones I've uploaded already. Today, I will be talking about how to avoid emotional outbursts. So stay tuned and I'll be right back. Welcome back. So last year, I did a video on do women cheat? So after watching this video, someone requested for this topic. So if you um, have any topic you want me to talk about, please do send a request, send me a, a comment and I will, you know, do that. I'll do that. So is it possible to overcome this habit? You may ask, even when we are emotional, when we are overwhelmed by stress, of you know nothing is going well in our life in our relationship even when we don't have food to feed the family but how do you overcome how do you overcome this you know outburst i have five points today number one identify the behavior you would like to stop engaging in you need to identify i would say make a list of them and try to work on stopping them and try you know your hardest try your best and stopping them you can use you know the help of counselor or a therapist to help you as well number two identify the emotional that accompany or leads to this behavior what leads to this behavior what makes you to do or to act that way the frustration that proceeds you know lashing out verbally the depression that proceeds for you to overreact this might help when you think about, you know, what makes you to act that way. Number three, find the emotional trigger. Knowing what triggers, you know, your outburst is very, very important. When you know, then you now know how to deal with it. But if you don't know what triggers it, how are you going to solve it? Ask yourself this question. What kinds of things lead me to, you know, do this? Use a note taking app on your phone to capture it so that you won't give excuse that I don't have a note. Write down what triggers you and resulting emotional as you experience them, put it down so that you won't forget. For example, I am lonely when my partner do not talk nor doesn't, you know, return physical affection and doesn't even realize, you know, that he's not showing me affection. Write it down. In my field, when completing the risk assessment, we have these key questions we use to complete the risk assessment. A, who is at risk? Who is at risk? You or your partner? B, what behavior are associated with this risk? C, the triggers. What triggers you? What makes you to start behaving that way? D, the consequences of your behavior. What is the consequences? E, what do you need to put in place? For you to be able to reduce this risk or this outburst, you need to put something in place. Number four, become a spectator instead of being the emotional. Being human beyond the emotional. Amazing. Watch yourself experience the emotional. Observe it. But don't act on it. Just observe. Try and separate from it. Recognize the action that your emotional brain is telling you to take but do not engage in them your brain is telling you something your emotional brain but do not act on it number five choose a more proper response tip four help us to intervene to deter this reaction now is for you for me to engage the rational part of my brain to choose a more appropriate you know response rather than you know calling names name calling idiot beach days you're useless maybe 
I should suggest asking a question. You asking a question that will help you get better understanding, you know, of your partner. Instead of drinking yourself to stupor or coma, rather have a productive conversation with your partner. A productive one, I said, with your partner and tell him or her how you are feeling or how their behavior is making you to feel. And I hope these tips will help you to overcome that outburst. Being in an you know, outburst environment is not a good place to be. You need to come out of that place and be in a better place whereby you can enjoy your partner more instead of lashing out all the time, instead of, you know, that emotional out outburst all the time. But you can do it, but you need to put some work. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you.